So, hi everybody and welcome back to the C++ tutorial series for absolute beginners. This is video 243 and in this video we are talking about the new access specifier which is protected and here in our keywords, you can see it, we have this protected keyword. So we click on it, we click on this one and uh, we are in the page of access specifiers. You can see it's not a separated page but we have not talked about all of them. We have talked about the public a little bit, a little bit about the private, and now we are going to talk about the protected. I will not go dive into all this one. I concentrate only on po uh, po protected now. We have to go later here again when it comes to special rules, because I said in derivative classes there are special rules. And then we have to go in this one in detail a little bit more. But right now we scroll down, go where it says protected member and we read just what does this mean. It's very simple. Protected means just, you can see it's only the member and friend has access to this variable. You can see they made here a protected access specifier like the other ones private or whatever. And then they defined a variable. And this variable is now only access for the class or struct itself or when you have a derivative class, uh, like here, oops, sorry. We have here a derivative class. We learned how to, uh, to derive from a class only. We add like little thing like this. Then the derivative class has access to this variable too. And that means only protected. So it's very simple to understand, but uh, there are some little mistakes which uh, you can still make. I show you this one. Let's go to my class, which I created in the last video. I add now one more access specifier. You can see very easy. I already made this here. Car uncomment. You just write in this uh, what you want. Uh, protected. And don't forget, when you don't specify after protected anything, for example, if I would not specify here, this is public, this could cause a problem, right? So when I scroll down, you can see I can't create a uh, object because we know a constructor must be all time, uh, all time public. But this one is a very easy uh, way to fix and you can see it. So I added here my protect, uh, protected access specifier like the other ones. I created here a variable which I want to use protected. So here before we go on, when do you use protected? The good news is you can only use in general public and private when you know that your class is never inherit, right? Something. So you have only use protected when you know I want to use this class, so this class should inherit later or from this class it is allowed to inherit. And then you want to make some special rules. That, that's the good news about protected. Uh, if you don't use inheritance, then you don't need this. But let's say I want to use this class so I allow people to inherit from this class. And I want now that this protected should be only used like we see in the derivative class, so which means I have here a derivative class. You see, this is my hotel. This is my specialization. House is general. Hotel specialize what kind of house I want. It should be just a hotel, not a family house or not a building for machines or whatever. And here, and now we have to think a little bit. What is what? I what was this again? What means protected? Protected means I have the class itself has access and my derivative class. So let's go here to my hotel object. This is the derivative one. I created here an object that was last video. And let's try to access it now from my derivative class. And oh, wait a minute. Here I have no access, but I said my derivative class can access it. You can see I made here this object. And this is the little mistake what can happen if you are not careful is you made here the object of the derivative class, yes, but this one here is outside, considered outside. Protected means not you have outside access, even you have made the object. And this is uh, careful about that. 
and that means only this protected means you can access it from your derivative class but only in your derivative class and if you understand this is easy which means let's say I have here oh before that let's correct this one so we know outside I still can't access it this is outside we have to understand this and now I go to my hotel class inside I create here any function I don't know let's call it int um, get height and I calculate height cal calculate height something like that calculate height let's calculate it and now let's uh, return something like that too and I said this is my derivative class I can access this house height now let's say return house height and you can see here here's house height I can access it now and multiply just uh, uh, let's say just for fun minus 10 I don't know and that's it and that's the point you have just inside access it but when you create outside an object you still don't have access it if you learn this one about protected then you know now protected it's easy but this is the mistake which uh, yeah uh, many people make because they think hey I can create now I have access to it and I can call it outside no you can't call it outside this is considered to be called outside uh, protected means you can call it inside a class for inside functions and the question is now why we make this and again pro you can see protected let's go back you can see this protected and private are similar why similar because we use in general start all time with private because we don't want that this variable should be created outside for debug purposes for uh, all other kind of stuff what can happen we want only limit the, the positions and find them fast and the protected is similar protected is extending a little bit the private which says okay private is only this class protected means all the derivative classes too so when you use that der uh, protected uh, variable you have to check also uh, all the derivative classes where uh, they because they can use it too you can see my class hotel can use now here house uh, here in is in its function this uh, variable and if it's happening something here let's say an error then I have to debug uh, check this place and this class so with other words two classes in private if something happens with this variable here an arrow I have just to check this class only one class you can see private and protected similar and good thing to use public it's most time considered to be the worst because you have to check every possible way can cause big 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 yeah checks with a waste of time and yeah that's not so so just remember this and that's it so you learned now a little bit more about protected and there are more rules so the last thing what I want to say is uh, we are finished with all access specific, uh, specifier in one class but careful this are access specifier in this class and this uh, inheritance this little public here what I talked a little bit in my last video what you can specify or not this is changing the behavior of your access specifier depending on what access specifier you specify here so we have only three we have public we have uh, private protected and public public is changing nothing protected change a little bit and private change a little bit more but not too difficult but we have to watch this again in detail and we have to practice this because understanding is most time very easily you see the rule ah yeah it changed this one it changed this one it's okay but like i said in most time understanding in yeah c plus plus is most time easy but when you are going to use and have you no know, practice then you still make some errors and we will talk about this in the next video so if you have any questions so far like all the time write it in the comment section 
And with that said, have fun. See you in the next video. Bye and good luck.